Hi right, guys, we're back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog. Fall day. Switching tires. I'm gonna run M3 slide locks. Slide locks felt great last night. S3. I'm running M3 today because it's a little cold this morning, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more traction out of some M3s. And then as the day progresses, track starts grooving up, we'll switch to S. But the uh, S3 slide locks last night after the track's been run all day, it felt felt great. So hopefully as time goes on, we'll feel better. But brand new M3 slide locks. I was going to do a mounting video and I didn't do it. I mounted five sets of tires Thursday night and I just I didn't have the time to prep for the video or anything so I just I had, to, I had to mount so I will do a mounting video soon I promise and hopefully I'll do it at the track but let's go around and go talk to people we got to go to the driver's meeting hopefully my battery's charging time it's gonna be a good day guys all right we're all set up we got the s3 positrons on truck brand new set some M3 slide locks on my buggy. Look at that stand. Guys, y'all need to go get you one of these stands. These stands are freaking legit. Uh-oh. I got in trouble. He said his battery's still not ready. You're fine, bud. It'll, it'll be good. Don't worry. It's all right. All right, here we go. We're going to do a little walk around here to see who's here. We got the Geary, the Grantham. They think hey, they know. Up? They think they know what they're doing, but they have no clue. Oh, this has not been a good start so far, but we're getting there. <laughs> not a good start. What happened, dude? Oh man, I had to put bearings in the motor and. That's Whoa! Hard. In the motor, not not the clutch, but the motor. Right, the rear bearing. Yeah, dude, that's pretty hardcore. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not, not a good, good way to start the weekend. Yeah, I mean, when you got to use tools like this, it's not good. But <laughs> we'll get there. Those uh, those mounts though, those starter box mounts are legit. They're pretty sick. I think my starter box motor's giving up on me or something though. Oh really? It won't turn it over. That's a good. That's a good starter box yeah, too. That's the hardcore yeah. one. All right, let's go look around. Oh, there's some technos. I bet you they're drivers meeting right now, and we're not out there. Uh, that's not good. Oh, we better hurry. Please don't be a drivers meeting. Please don't be a drivers meeting. Oh, it's a drivers meeting. Yep, we're late to it. Oops. Oopsies. Damn, that's a whole bunch of people. I'm gonna go to, on the driver's stand where I'm not supposed to be. Tim, what's up, dude? What's up, guys? All right. Okay, they're waiting on Tyler, so I'm not that late. That is a good amount of people, guys. All right, driver's meeting over. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Race starts in 10 minutes. I gotta go talk to somebody. Oh, look, there's a bunch of them out there right now. Check this out. This looks like so much fun. The problem is... I don't know, hold on. Problem is, it's probably, I would probably argue it's probably the most expensive type of racing. I mean, everything has to be perfect. These are like pieces of art. But check at them scream. Check out how they scream down that straightaway. And they're just planted. Good God, that's awesome. So that's on-road track, off-road tracks on the other side of that building over there, all the way back there. All right, there, there she is. That is the Techno Traxxas. It's basically a Techno with all the Traxxas electronics in it except for the servo since we blew it up yesterday. But it's my eight year old driving it so it's probably gonna get wrecked really bad in this race. And he's at the end of the straightaway which is also a big no-no but I think it would be kind of cool if we just saw it explode. What wouldn't be cool is if my other son was the one who exploded him at the end of the straightaway. That wouldn't be cool. There's my other son. Oh look at this a Typhoon over here. Ethan, you're taking those turns pretty good, bud. See what I'm saying, Evan? You get caught up on that thing. It's a waste of time. There you go. Go, go, go. All right, you should be in the lead now, Ethan. Nope. Wadded it up. Now Evan's in the lead. Go, Evan, go. 
No, no mistakes. Just no mistakes. God. You were trying to go too fast. There you go. That's so much better. Sorry, I was. See Evan. Oh, Evan and Ethan, first and third. Go, Evan, go, go, go. No mistakes, Evan. Double that. There you go, there you go. Nice, perfect. You're doing perfect, bud. Just keep doing what you're doing. Don't hit that car, jeez. All right, Evan's gone. Ethan's flipped over. No mistake, Evan. Just stay in the middle of the track. Doing good. Remember, double that section. Just no mistakes there. That's all you want to worry about. All right. Round one, one of qualifiers is complete. E truggy felt super loose. Like I thought I ran the wrong tire, but I was actually just two tenths of a second off of fast lap. So my car, car was actually really good. I qualified second overall, two seconds behind TQ. And then an E buggy, my car felt really good. I kind of took it easy because I wanted a nice solid qualifier at first. Look, all these on-road people are looking at me. But I don't know who I am. I need to race on-road by the way. But yeah. What was I saying? I was saying that my car, oh yeah, I was trying to take it easy in my first round of e-buggy, and then I noticed I could push it more, so I started pushing it more and more. I ended up qualifying fifth overall. There's about 30 people here in open e-buggy. I think I can get TQ if I tried hard enough, so we're gonna give it everything on this last next qualifier. But before we do, I'm gonna go see if they have some tire sauce. I think we need to be saucing tires, so we're going into Mike Sabi shop. I go. Ooh. I got trains galore in here. Do what? All right, we're looking for, oh, look at the car. Model cars. All right, they didn't have any tire sauce, which sucks. Oh, look, it's a kickstand, guys. What do y'all you know here, like tortillas or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a taco. I have some tacos for you. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want that. I give him a hard time because he's not Mex he's not Mexican, but I always act like he's Mexican. What's up, bud? How's it going? So they're running nitro right now. Luckily, they run all my races early, and then I can just chill. Cynical Racewear, right there. Look, track in the background. Jim K. Uh, Roach in third, Ronnie's down the fourth. All right, Cloud. Ronnie's down the fourth. Ronnie's down the fourth. Ronnie's Oh, I got some good news. They're running some nitro on-road today, like an actual race. So I'll be able to show you guys, because I have no idea what's going on with nitro on-road, but we'll be able to go and check that stuff out. We're going to the party area. Where everyone likes to party. Ooh. I'm sure all the shenanigans happen back there. Go. One minute remaining on the race clock. Oh, look, they got their own TV screen. Yeah. Must Road be nice. Nice back here. Ready to go. Race 23 driver. See your track sign. Ready to marshal, please. Race <laughs> That's old school right there. Oh, I missed the wreck. That one had a tire fly off. Tire flew off of that one down the straightaway. That was pretty sick. Chris, you're done. 
Oh, it smells like burnt rubber over here. He's got a huge chunk of his tire missing. They're pretty sick. There's the bottom of one over there. Oh, the next round will start at 425. There's something else kind of cool. This is like their tire crewing spaces. So they get these foam tires and you have to cut them down for them to be the right rollout and everything. I don't know anything about on-road, but what I said just kind of sounded cool, so I thought I would say it. Pretty cool. If I can see someone crewing tires later, I'll run over here and get a shot of it. All right, guys, that's a wrap on Qual Day. Pretty sure I'm in the A in truck, probably top five. I had a decent run on my last run, but I couldn't catch TQ, so I wasn't like trying to break my truck before uh, main day. So still have one buggy race left, but the fatigue is setting in, guys. I've been here for over 12 hours. Got the kids playing in the background, playing football or something. One's playing with a laser pointer. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but nonetheless, Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.